In this example, we'll create a page curl effect. And we're gonna do this so that we can create a graphic to promote a travel catalog in a promotional graphic. So to begin, let's go into the third folder, folder number three, inside of the chapter one files in the exercise files. In there, you'll see a file called articles underscore pages dot PSD. And let's import this Photoshop file directly into After Effects. Now, when we import Photoshop files into After Effects, we have a couple of options, and we talked about these in the introduction videos. So under the import kind, let's come in here and choose composition, and I'll leave merge layer styles into footage selected, and then let's come down and click OK. That's gonna give us a new composition in the project panel and a folder with all of the individual layers. I'll open this up a little bit. Let's come in here and double click the composition. That will open the composition in the composition panel. And we'll also see the three individual layers from the Photoshop file showing up as layers in the timeline panel. Next, I'll set the magnification in the composition panel to fit. So now the composition panel is showing us all of the artwork from the Photoshop file. And now let's go over to the effects and presets panel. Let's come in here and search for the page turn. So I'll type in turn. That will bring up in the distort group, the CC page turn. Now to apply this to the cover layer, since the cover layer is at the top, I could drag and drop this right into the composition area. I could also drag and drop this on top of the cover layer in the timeline panel as well. And in either case, once I let go, we'll be applying the CC page turn to that layer. And we can see the effects happening immediately inside the composition panel. Now with this effect, we'll see a target show up. If I come over here and click and drag on the target, you'll see how this effect works. I can grab a corner of this and this will bend all of the artwork on that layer around as if we were curling a printed page. Now over in the effect controls, we can see all of the default properties. And under the controls, the bottom right corner is selected. Let's come in here and change this to the top right corner. Now, if we come over to the composition panel, drag the target around, we'll be pulling the corner from the top right. We can pull this around. Back to the effect controls, the fold position, that's the target we've been dragging around. So you can come in here and scrub the X or scrub the Y and get pixel level control. Next is the fold radius. So to see what this does, I'm gonna come in here and set the magnification to 50%. Then I'll hold the space bar to get the hand tool and I'll just pan around. So back in the effect controls, if I scrub this number lower all the way down to four, and what you'll see in the composition panel is that the curvature of the page turn is reduced all the way to four. And this actually looks like just straight corners. I'll pan over and look at the top as well. If we come back to the fold radius and increase this, you'll see that this actually changes the curvature of that fold. So now we can see a rounded arc around the shape. And again, we can see that on the top as well. If we continue to increase this, we'll see more and more curvature giving us the illusion of the arc being much higher for this curve effect. So the setting that I like for the fold radius is about 130. So I'll come in here and just scrub this up. Go to about right here. And then next I'll jump down here to the back opacity. So right now this is set to 85% by default. If I lower the opacity, what this does is make this look as though the page were printed on vellum or mylar, and we can see through this a little bit. I'll come in here and change this up to 100%, making this page fully opaque. Then we'll come back to the light direction. Now, if we come in here and change the direction of the light, we can change the effect that the light has against the page curl. So if we have the angle going in roughly the same direction as the angle on the page, this will create a shadow on this edge. If we come in here and rotate this around to the opposite direction, this will create a highlight. So you can use this dial to create the proper lighting effect. And now the final thing I wanna do is change the artwork that shows on the back panel here. So I'll come in here and change my magnification back to fit. Then I'll come in here and grab this corner and drag it down. So what we're looking at here is the back of the cover. So it's as if the cover has been printed twice and in reverse on the background. So now we're seeing this show up on this face here. So what we're gonna do is come over here to the back page property. And instead of this using the same layer that we're applying the effect to, let's come in here and set the back page to the back cover. And you can choose any layer that's already on your timeline. So now we can see that's showing up here. Now if I click and drag and pull this back, we can now see that the second layer in the timeline panel, back cover, 
is now being applied to the back of the page curl effect. However, we have a problem here, and that is, if we were actually curling the page out from a catalog, we would be able to read this second page. Now, we don't have a way to force After Effects to flip the image that's being applied to the back panel. Even if we were to flip this on the timeline, After Effects is referencing the artwork that's placed on the timeline, but from the original source artwork. So here's a case where we can use the fact that After Effects is linking to a live Photoshop file. So let's switch back to the exercise files and let's open up the article pages PSD in Photoshop. So back in the exercise files, I'll come over here and double click on the article pages.psd. Now we have the source file opened in Photoshop. We can see all the layers. I'm gonna come in here and hide the cover and page layer, showing just the back cover. I'll select this layer. Next, I'll come up to the edit menu, come down to transform, and let's choose flip horizontal. So that's gonna reverse all of the pixels horizontally on this layer. Next, inside of Photoshop, let's come down and choose File Save. We'll close the Photoshop file, go back to After Effects, and we'll immediately see After Effects will reapply that artwork to everything happening inside of the composition. So we can see here that the page reads properly as the background from the page curl effect, but we can also see that it's backwards in the regular timeline. However, this is okay because we don't wanna see the back cover. So let's come down to the timeline panel. Let's hide back cover. Again, it still needs to be on the timeline so it can be assigned as the back cover in the page curl, but we don't have to show it in the main composition. And this will also reveal the third page in our document, which is the third layer in the timeline panel. So I use this technique to create a promotional graphic for a travel catalog. So we could show off some of the rich content contained in the catalog for an advertisement.